Hi, I'm Alex Paul, Editor-in-Chief of Electronic Component News, and today I wanted to talk about infrared LEDs. With the advent of solid-state lighting and its expansion into the marketplace, you're going to see LEDs everywhere anyway. But uh, infrared LEDs are specifically interesting because they're useful in a lot of applications from control applications and sensing applications and low light uh, vision applications. But the problem with uh, infrared LEDs, well, infrared light sources of any type, but the problem is we can't see an infrared. So how can you make sure that an infrared device is operating without any special tools? There's a way to do this. Right I have here is, are two LEDs provided by, actually they're LED clusters, provided by Osram, uh, courtesy of Macrovision. And uh, the one on the bottom is a standard high output white LED. As you can see here, on and off, bright white light, it's easy to tell this thing is functioning. We switch to the infrared LED, not as easy to tell. If you look very closely, you might see a little bit of uh, color pick up in the emitters as the stray uh, energy f in creeps into the visual spectrum. Or you can, might hear the very faint piezoelectric effect at the little whine when the uh, LEDs go on. But for general purposes, if you're outdoors, a lot of things going on. If you're indoors, a lot of things going on, period. Uh, it's kind of hard to be able to detect whether or not the LED is functioning. However, if you have a standard camera phone, you can do a good job with it. You see, a camera phone has got a digital camera in it, and digital cameras, a lot of people don't tell you, digital cameras are susceptible to LED, to infrared light. They're sensitive to LED, to infrared uh, light. So if I take this camera, point it at the emitter, I can actually see the infrared LED light up. Now, they don't filter out the infrared in most digital cameras, professional ones they do. But on most consumer cameras, because the cost of uh, cutting the infrared light isn't worth the uh, performance benefit, because the ambient normally washes out whatever infrared that's going to be into the image anyway. But in the case of a direct infrared source like this LED, the, in the emitted light is more than enough for the camera to pick up. So right here we have a pocket infrared emitter detector in your digital camera. So. That's a tip for the day on uh, LED devices and infrared light, and uh, I'm Alex Paul. Thanks.